Hello everyone. Welcome to the sixth lecture of the course. And this is the last lecture of module one. In the previous lecture, we had seen that while human being is coexistence of self and body, self is central to human existence. And we had also seen how self is the seer, doer, and enjoyer. We also talked about the transaction that takes place between self and body. And we saw that it is only in the form of information and there is no material transaction between the two. Now we'll go further to understand the human being. We'll talk about the basic human aspiration and the program for its fulfillment. So we'll talk about the basic human aspiration and we'll see that the basic aspiration is continuity of happiness. And we'll discuss the program for its fulfillment. So in the light of investigation that we have made so far, we can now see that the basic human aspiration is for continuity of happiness. The aspiration for the feeling of prosperity is in fact part of this continuity of happiness. So if you remember in the previous course, we had said that the basic aspiration is for continuity of happiness and prosperity. But now we can talk in a more focused manner. We can see that essentially the feeling of prosperity is a part of feeling of happiness. Now that we can see that it is self which is central to human existence. So essentially the feeling is there which is of importance and that feeling is for continuity of happiness which I basically aspire for the feeling of prosperity being a part of it. We can also see that this is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought, which is going to be ensured in the self. And the right feeling and right thought is something that can be termed as resolution. So in this lecture, we'll keep on using this word resolution time and again. The word resolution is being used to convey the right feeling and right thought. Resolution in all aspects of our living calls for clarity about these different aspects of our living living in the self with the body in relation with human being and the nature and existence. With this background, we can now deduce the following conclusion. So looking at the human target, we can see that the human desire is for continuity of happiness. And as I said earlier, that feeling of prosperity is a part of feeling of happiness. So this is what each one of us is basically aspiring for. And this is the need of the self. Now this continuous happiness is going to be ensured by right understanding, right feeling and right thought. This right feeling and right thought is something that can be termed as resolution and this is activity of the self. This right understanding is going to be ensured in the self. Based on right understanding, my feelings get definite and based on these feelings, my thoughts get definite and this is what is termed as resolution. So elaborating upon resolution, we'll see that Resolution is essentially the clarity of all these. What are these? So I need to have the right understanding. I need to have the right understanding of the human being, entire existence, and the role of human being in the entire existence. So in this course, primarily, we'll be talking about this right understanding. We'll be talking about how I can understand the human being comprehensively, how I can understand the existence comprehensively, and how I can also understand the role of human being in the existence comprehensively. Now, this right understanding ensures wisdom in the self. And what does wisdom means? Wisdom means that I'm able to identify the human goal rightly. So earlier we had talked about human goal and we had seen that there are four human goals, right understanding and right feeling in the human being, prosperity in the family, fearlessness that is trust in society and coexistence in the nature. Now, this is something which is there as a wisdom in the self. Now, with this wisdom, we are able to determine the science and science essentially means how to fulfill the human goal. So we'll talk about all these words in detail. Now, this clarity of being uh, able to fulfill the human goal ensures the right behavior in the self and the behavior guides the work and that guides participation in the larger order. Now, all these put together help me to participate in undivided society and that leads to universal human order. And when I go to ensure undivided society and universal human order generation by generation, it forms the human tradition in which the human goal is fulfilled for every generation. So you'll see that something that is determined in the self as wisdom, the human goal, gets fulfilled in our living as human tradition, generation by generation. 
so you'll see that there is congruence between the two and this is the way to evaluate whether what i determined within me is that going to be there in my living or not so something that becomes clear in the self as wisdom with clarity of human goal the same goes into living and forms the human tradition and this congruence shows whether we are able to have the wisdom rightly or not now we can divide these nine points into three groups so right understanding wisdom and science is something that is going to be ensured in the self so it is me who is going to ensure right understanding in me isn't it and as i said right understanding essentially means understanding the human being correctly understanding the existence correctly and understanding the role of human being in the entire existence correctly now this ensures the wisdom and science and that is all going to be ensured in the self now when i go to live accordingly i behave with the human being i work with the rest of nature and i participate in the larger order and here both self and body have a role to play so this is something that i ensure as a human being 3.1 to 3.3 was something that i was ensured 3.1 to 3.3 is something that is ensured in the self but 3.4 to 3.7 but 3.4 5 and 6 is something that is ensured while living as a human being where both self and body have a role to play so when you go to interact with the human being and rest of nature then comes the third part which is expression outside so now my competence to live with justice in human human relationship ensures undivided society it ensures my participation in undivided society similarly when i am able to understand the rest of nature then my role with the nature is a participation in ensuring universal human order and the same thing goes from one generation to another generation forming the human tradition in which the human goal is fulfilled and this is all expression outside so there are nine points to be understood in resolution 3.1 to 3.9 are those nine points 3.1 to 3.3 is something that is to be ensured in the self 3.4 5 and 6 is something to be ensured while living as a human being and 3.7 8 and 9 are something that go as expression outside and there needs to be a congruence between the human tradition and the wisdom that we ensure in the self now detailing upon the resolution so right understanding is understanding a existential reality in its completeness and as it is so what is existential reality so the existence is there isn't it the existence is there there is space the nature is there nature is submerged in space this is something that we have talked about briefly in the previous course human being is there human human relationship is there now all this is reality this exists and we have to understand this existential reality as it is without mixing any belief any dogma any preconditioning and here i have to be a pure observer to see the reality as it is so i go to understand the self as it is i go to understand the coexistence of self with the body as it is i go to understand the relationship between self and self as it is i go to understand the other units in nature be they of physical order or bio order or animal order and i try to understand them i try to observe them as they are at the same time when i am able to understand the reality like this i am also able to see that there is space existing everywhere and every unit in the nature is submerged in space and i need to understand this submergence i need to realize this submergence so this is ensuring right understanding which is going to happen in the self now based on this i am able to ensure wisdom in the self and what does that mean i am able to see the common human goal while living in the society and we have talked earlier about the common human goal that is right understanding and right feeling in every individual prosperity in every family fearlessness that is trust in the society and coexistence with the nature now it might have come to us as thought so far when the right understanding is ensured it becomes my wisdom okay and based on this wisdom i am able to make out the program to fulfill the human goal and that is the science so science of behavior science of work 
and signs of participation in the larger order is something that comes as a natural outcome of the wisdom now with this i am able to identify the right feeling in every relationship so when i go to interact with a human being which forms my behavior i am able to make out which feeling is there in me which is acceptable to me naturally as well as to the other naturally and when i am able to contemplate upon this feeling it becomes a very natural part of my behavior and my be every behavior and my every behavior is in terms of ensuring mutual happiness so what does mutual happiness mean it means i am able to ensure happiness within me as well as happiness of the other similarly while i am interacting with the rest of nature it leads to mutual prosperity and mutual prosperity means that i am able to ensure that i have more than what i require and at the same time i am able to ensure that the rest of nature is enriched is preserved and is rightly utilized so this is ensuring the mutual prosperity now this behavior and work help me to ensure participation in the larger order so i am able to see the order in my family i am able to see the order in my extended family the family cluster and so on and so forth and my understanding of this order goes from family to the world family and this leads to fulfillment of the human goal isn't it so i am able to make out my program rightly for example if i am teaching in an institution it's not only that i am teaching to impart some skills i am able to see what role this teaching has to play in the larger order in the global harmony in the undivided society in the universal human order this becomes clear to me and each one of us is participating directly or indirectly in the larger order every moment and this has to be understood what participation is there which is acceptable to me naturally now with this i am able to ensure my participation in the undivided society and when i have this clarity of undivided society so i am able to see what feeling in me can ensure this undividedness my relationship with every human being without any differentiation without any division isn't it without any wrong evaluation so i am able to now visualize my participation in the world family the whole world becomes a family to me presently if you see we are mostly limited to the family of a few people isn't it but can we conceive the whole world as a family so can we conceive the whole world as a family this is something for us to see similarly when i go to fulfill my participation in the universal human order i am able to ensure order that is system for fulfilling the human goal from family order to the world family order so on one hand i am fulfilling the relationship with the human being in addition i am also able to fulfill the relation with the rest of nature so if i have a family and i have to fulfill the needs of the family i am able to ensure the needs of the self as well as the body for fulfilling the needs of the body i need to interact with the rest of nature and i need to arrange the physical facilities which are required for the fulfillment of the needs of the body there are physical facilities which are required for fulfillment of the needs of the body and i am able to see that the needs for physical facilities are limited in quantity as well as time and i have to fulfill these needs i am also able to see how the whole nature is mutually fulfilling and how i can fulfill the needs of the body being fulfilling to the rest of nature so if i have to produce food i am able to make out the right process to produce food if i have to produce clothes shelter i am able to make out the right process to produce clothes and shelter i am able to also make out the right processes to produce instruments for the right utilization of the body now when the same thing goes from one generation to another generation then this forms the human tradition so it is ensuring human order in which human goal is fulfilled from generation to generation and we have to think in these terms presently if you look at the world of today people are afraid whether this world is going to be livable place few years hence so we have to think of the next generation we have polluted water air soil we have depleted the planet by extracting so much of mineral so many resources and the next generation has started questioning us how are we empowered to take the resources from the next generation so this is our responsibility to help the next generation fulfill its needs isn't it 
so whenever i go to make my program for continuity of happiness i have to look into all this even when i am arranging for food for my body i have to see whether this food can ensure the human tradition or not am i deriving my food in some way which is destroying the human tradition which is destroying the rest of nature if that is the case then i have to be aware to to produce clothes to make a house for myself can i derive the processes which are mutually fulfilling to fulfill the needs of clothes the need for a house for myself can i devise ways and means which can be fulfilling to the rest of nature which can preserve the nature which can enrich the nature these all things are questionable presently when we are studying technology so we have to be aware whether this technology is going to be put in use for the human tradition or something that can disturb the human tradition so we cannot just think about our generation we have to think about the next generation and every generation to follow we have to work for continuity of happiness on this planet from generation to generation and the more we explore into the harmony of the self you see that this comes very naturally to us naturally we do aspire to be happy and to make others happy and why then this generation only why not every generation so placement of these different aspects of our living if you see so we can recall from which we two that the total expression of human being living with realization of coexistence is something that is called as human conduct so when i am able to understand the whole reality as it is and i am able to live accordingly this leads to human conduct in every dimension at every level of my living and these different aspects of our living that is living in the self with the body in relation with human being and nature or existence can be placed as shown in the slides to follow we can also relate as to what resolution has to do with the clarity of all these aspects so we'll now try to elaborate on various aspects of our living in the following slides so now this is something that will keep on uh, presenting to you time and again this is the diagram of the self so we can see that essentially within the self i have to reach the state of realization when i am able to see the whole existence as coexistence now this realization in me is something that is my desired state my coveted state and the same thing goes in expression and makes the universal human order makes the human tradition generation by generation so on one end we are working for realization in the self and the same is getting expressed in terms of universal human order the more i am able to work for right understanding and right feeling within me the more naturally i am able to participate in the larger order right from family order to the world family order following a human tradition generation by generation so on one hand i am working for this and similarly i am participating in the human tradition generation by generation the more i move upwards the more i try to develop myself these activities the more i am able to participate here okay my every participation my every word my every expression is in terms of fulfilling the human goal generation by generation think about this we'll keep on uh, referring to this diagram so realization within is something to be ensured and the expression is there outside which makes the human tradition generation by generation now if you try to relate all those nine points to the activities of self and the expression outside so 3.1 is something that we termed as right understanding and that is to ensure these activities which are written in block b1 so i need to ensure clarity of coexistence in the existence now we can have a relook at the resolution looking into the activities of the self and its expression in the larger order so if you see the diagram in front of you in block b1 where we have these five activities of the self 3.1 is placed and that essentially means that right understanding is going to take place in block b1 of the self and this block b1 is the dimension of knowing realization or right understanding so what is going to be there in block b1 with right understanding so one will have the clarity of coexistence in the existence that is submergence of nature in space based on this one will have the clarity of harmony in the nature and that essentially means that one is able to see how the whole nature is self organized being in space 
and one is able to see the innateness of each and every order in the nature with this one is able to get the clarity of relationship of each and every unit in the nature with other units and that essentially means that one is able to contemplate upon the natural characteristic of every order and that gives the clarity about participation in the larger order so this clarity is gained in the self which is the right understanding now if you look at 3.2 that is wisdom so it is going to be ensured partly in the block b1 and partly in block b2 so at the level of desire the wisdom is going to be ensured so based on the clarity of participation in the larger order one gets the image of the living in the larger order with this clarity this imaging is determined based on contemplation now and this is something that is termed as wisdom now if you look at the science that is going to take place in block b2 itself and that will mean that the thought gets clarity and what do i get as clarity in terms of thought so my thought is now guided by the right understanding and right feeling so the thought is guided by coexistence harmony and justice and that's how the senses health and profit get guided by coexistence harmony and justice now if you look at 3.3 the signs that has to take place in block b2 that is the dimension of thought so with the right understanding and with the wisdom one gets the clarity at the level of thought the thought is now guided by coexistence harmony and justice so the comparing now takes place on these basis and the senses health and profit are now guided through right understanding of coexistence harmony and justice now this leads to sensation being guided by goal and value which is going to take place at the level of expectation so 3.1 3.2 and 3.3 is something that is going to take place in the self as we mentioned earlier now comes the expression as a human being where self and body both have a role to play now there is transaction of information between the self and the body and with this transaction the behavior takes place so as i behave as a human being with other human beings it is included in 3.4 in 3.5 is my interaction in terms of work where i am going to interact with the rest of nature and in 3.6 is the participation in the larger order and all these three 3.4 3.5 and 3.6 are going to take place as an expression of something that is going to take place in the self and this is there at the level of human being now based on this we are able to participate in undivided society universal human order and that goes from generation to generation forming the human tradition and this is 3.7 8 and 9 now if you look at one which was the basic aspiration that is continuity of happiness so this is something that is mentioned here now if you look at one that is the basic aspiration that is mentioned here so it is continuity of happiness and that will of course ensure mutual happiness mutual prosperity and fulfillment of the human goal so you could see how different parts of resolution get ensured so this is 3.1 the right understanding 3.2 wisdom 3.3 science 3.4 behavior 3.5 work 3.6 participation in the larger order 3.7 undivided society 3.8 universal human order 3.9 human tradition and you will see that there is congruence of this human tradition with what is decided here in terms of wisdom in 3.2 so the imaging at the level of desire to live with continuity of happiness that goes from one generation to another generation and forms the human tradition something that is decided in the self comes into living and forms a tradition and this is what we are essentially aspiring for we are all aspiring for having the tradition of living with happiness and prosperity and that also in continuity isn't it and that is what we all are aspiring for we all are aspiring to live with continuity of happiness from generation to generation so that this whole world can be a place of happy living isn't it is that true for you or not what do you think explore about it think about it now we can have a look at the self exploration as the methodology and it can be viewed in this manner something that we had discussed earlier also 
So block B1 is the dimension of realization, the dimension of knowing, the dimension of right understanding, where the verification of the proposals takes place. And here we are able to verify on the basis of natural acceptance. The proposal is coming from outside. So when I am teaching this course, the proposal is coming to you. Now with this clarity, we can have a look at the self-exploration, something that we discussed earlier also. So the block B1, which is the seer, which is the dimension of realization, is the dimension of knowing that is right understanding is here. And the verification of the proposals takes place in this block. There is a natural acceptance, which is something innate to every self. The proposal is coming from outside. So when I am talking to you, the proposal is coming from me and it is entering at the level of block B2, that is dimension of thought. So it is coming as an information. On one hand, you are referring the proposal to your natural acceptance. And on the other hand, you are trying to validate in your living, in your behavior and in your work. In your work, you are able to see that this ensures mutual prosperity. In behavior, you are able to see that in, it ensures mutual happiness. And thus there is mutual fulfillment and mutual enrichment. So this is the validation part. And this is the verification part. Now these are the four dimensions. So one dimension is dimension of realization, that is B1. B2 is dimension of thought. And then we have behavior and work. And through this process, we are able to verify the proposals. We are able to activate the dimension of realization. And we'll see that there's congruence here also. So what I experience here in terms of mutual happiness, mutual prosperity is congruent with something which I able to see within at the level of realization. And the same I can see in my thought and there's perfect harmony within. And there's also harmony in my expression. So this is the process of self exploration. We had discussed our self exploration in the previous course also. Now this is a relook at self exploration in a different way. Something I discussed in the previous lecture also. Now there's some homework for you for self exploration, self reflection. So write down all your questions that have remained unanswered after UHV2 or new questions that have come up since UHV2. If you are unhappy at this moment, examine whether it is due to lack of required physical facility or lack of fulfillment in the relationship or lack of right understanding and right feeling that is resolution in the self, which one seems to be the main cause. So many times we try to focus on problems outside while the problem may be there inside. So this is an effort to look into the problem inside. If you are not having the resolution, then how you are going to have happiness within you? Is the source of your happiness inside or outside? Try to find it out. Just don't give a very blank answer. Just don't give a very you know, ready-made answer to this question. You have to find it out yourself. So if it is outside, that is some favorable sensation or feeling from others, then is there a possibility of continuity of happiness or not? So try to see that if I am assuming my source of happiness to be outside, can there ever be continuity of happiness? If I'm trying to borrow my happiness through somebody's behavior, can it ever be continuous? If I'm trying to borrow happiness through some sensation from the body, can it ever be continuous? And these are very pertinent and very important issues. We have been discussing this in our practice sessions also. And this is something that will take you even further to see and observe for yourself. Science is about how to fulfill human goal, investigate into this statement in the context of present day science. So we have the present day science and here we are using the word science in a little different manner. It is about the program to fulfill the human goal. So try to relate this program to fulfill the human goal to the current day science and see what our observations are. So this is homework for you based on this lecture. So in this lecture, we talked about the basic aspiration and we saw that the basic aspiration is continuity of happiness, feeling of prosperity being a part of it. We also saw that this basic aspiration is going to be fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought. And this right understanding, right feeling and right thought has to be ensured within the self. We had a look at resolution and we saw the nine components of resolution. So it starts with right understanding. Next is wisdom then science, and then we have behavior, work, and participation in the larger order. And based on this, we have our role in the undivided society and universal human order forming the human tradition. And we can see that there is congruence 
between wisdom and what we are able to see as human tradition. So this is uh, as a takeaway for the lecture today that the basic aspiration is going to be fulfilled by ensuring resolution in the self. And we'll talk about resolution now in more detail in the following lectures. Thank you all.